Hello out there, uh, fellow uh, you poopers. Um, this is uh, this is Rad Dad sixty nine filling in for a little moonbeam behind the camera over there. Beam, not beam. I always call it beam. Um, we're doing another unboxing video. Uh, this one's going to be a loot crate. Um, this is actually my final loot crate um, because my subscription has run out and I am not going to fulfill it. It's a little, a little too pricey these days for for uh, Rad Dad 69's uh, tastes. So let's open it. You, as you can see, it's a it's it's a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit taller than like your average like uh, shoebox that you get from uh, Tramp. Um, and so it makes you think that like oh, there's going to be all sorts of goody goody gumdrops in here. Let's let's take a look. Uh, I should also uh, I should also note that uh, this this month's theme is dead, um, just like my subscription to Loot Crate after this month dead. So uh, uh, on first glance we have uh, we have what I like to call uh, box padding. Um, this is a, a Q fig of Deadpool. It's a Loot Crate exclusive. This is kind of along the same lines of. Uh, of like the, the, the Funko, Popcos, what are they called? Funko. Yeah, those things. Those uh, those miniature uh, uh, figurines mm -hmm. of uh, all sorts of pop culture that <coughs> you never thought you wanted until now. And if you're like me, uh, and I might be a small minority, but uh, I actually hate these things. Like they, <laughs> they, I really do, like, you know? Uh, they, they seem to like pad the box. They make you think that like there's something heavy and valuable and good and then you open it up and it's just one of these things so if, if you're a Deadpool fan uh, a good find but uh, uh, not not such a big deal for me uh, on the back or on the bottom of it it says uh, uh, an adult collectible not intended for use by children so you know like uh, since these aren't really like posable figurines you know like your child, uh, your your zero to three year old should be should be kept away from looking at it because that's that's all that they do is Whatever. sit there. <laughs> um, don't swallow it. <laughs> yeah, don't swallow it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a big swallow. Um, we, <laughs> we have here is uh, uh, the AMC Walking Dead. Uh, it's a construction set. These are small little uh, figurines that you uh, <clears throat> build on your own. Um, these are actually done by uh, McFarlane, uh, McFarlane Toys, which are, are super detailed, uh, like super intricate figurines. So this, this I would say, is a win, uh, just simply because anything McFarlane, you know, as far as figurines go, is a win. Uh, we can we can open it up real quick to uh, to see what's in there, or you can you can watch me struggle with with it. There's some scissors. In there. No, don't don't okay. tell. I'm I'm a man. I don't need scissors. Right. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, let's let's open it up. Let's let's hope for Michonne. I would like Michonne. Michonne would be good. Oh, it's Rick. Rick. It's a it's a disembodied head and body of uh, of Rick. So as you can see, you, you put it together, stand it up. Uh, really, really kind of cool. Uh, as far as like small chintzy little figurines go. Oh man, that's bigger than the Daryl one you have. Yeah, the small little Daryl I got. Mm -hmm. So so that's a score. Uh, on to the next thing. Blue Crate always throws in um, their pins. They they recently updated their pins to, to look um, much more kind of like ornate, and intricate, and detailed. And and to their to their credit, that's 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 a really nice looking pin. Like that's a super cool looking pin. Um, I will I will tell uh, you poopers out there that uh, if you're looking to put this on your child's backpack, which is what I do with all my pins, they ain't gonna last. They're gonna fall right off. Uh, I don't know. I, our our children tend to throw our uh, their backpacks into the wall and shit. So you know that that may be may be the case. Um, further in the box we have the Walking Dead soap on a rope Daryl's Walker ear necklace. These are awesome. Which uh, uh, my wife seems to think that they're awesome. I happen to think that they're completely worthless. But uh, the boys will love them. So uh, yeah, <laughs> if we were those kind of parents. Um, <laughs> So it, I guess it's kind of cool in, in, in the sense that like it's like a gag gift or a novelty gift or you know maybe you want to bring it to an office party and, and let's Halloween <laughs> yeah, uh, or, 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 yeah or Halloween gift or Halloween costume so I, I guess it's good in, in that sense but for me like do know. they smell that's the question uh no I don't I don't smell anything through the packaging. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's watch him struggle a little bit more. 
which is fine because we're, we're we're gonna we're gonna have to chop all that out in post. So mm -hmm. um, she better chop sure it all out in post. Um, oh look, it's more packaging. So it's packaging within packaging, nice. and I can't I can't smell anything. So I'm pretty sure they they smell like sodium palmate, sodium palm kernelate. Glycerin, sodium chloride, palmitic acid, tetrasodium, EBTA, tetrasodium. So they will turn you into a zombie. Yeah, yeah they'll, <laughs> they'll straight up turn you into a walker. So, nice. um, so yeah, there you go. Um, kind of a bleh for me, but um, I'm saving the best for last, uh, which is Loot Crate usually includes a t-shirt. Um, Loot Crate also includes, they've been trying to beef up their magazine, like they they bring out uh, every every month, like they've been trying to to make their own kind of like you know just pop culture random article Buzzfeedy kind of magazine, and it, it's pretty decent. Like as far as like tiny little magazines that go with uh, uh, boxes, I would say it's it's fairly decent. Like they they do a pretty good job of of meshing uh, pop culture sort of things in there. Um, the only thing is, is like if they're counting this as an item, I, I think that's that's padding. I think that's cheating. So like, but it, it's a cool little thing to come with it. Um, we're, we're saving the best for last, and this is the best, and this is the last. This is the last item. So like, as you can see, you can unfold the box and whatnot, but I don't do it because I'm terrible at origami or <laughs> unfolding things. Um, but this is this is I would say the item of the month, which is a uh, velvety. Sanguine uh, Deadpool shirt That's awesome. uh, to uh, to continue the momentum of the uh, the successful uh, rated R Deadpool movie. Right now, they give you a uh, Deadpool shirt, and on the bottom you got a little little comic uh, talk of tacos. So uh, that that's super cool if you're a Deadwood fan or Deadwood a uh, Deadpool <laughs> fan. Uh, I'm a Deadwood fan and, and a Deadpool. Fan. So um, the shirt is 60% cotton, 40% polyester, so it's very, very smooth. It's, it, it feels nice. It's a nice feeling shirt, and I would say the the red color is very striking. So, so, so uh, you know, uh, other uh, all things considered, kind of a kind of a shite box, you know. And and that's I think that's one of the reasons why I'm getting rid of Loot Crate. Um, I don't want to continue to pay for for items. I think I think they kind of pigeonhole themselves. With, with making it thematic every month, you know, giving it a theme, you know, like science fiction or space or whatever. And that's cool for some people, I guess. But for me, like, if I get a box like this, I just want it to be, like, filled to the brim with, like, filled to the brim with, like, crap, you know? Just, like, just, just you know, uh, memorabilia from, from different pop culture, not, you know, not just, like, two different things. I mean, this is literally just two items from The Walking Dead and two items from Deadpool. So like, you know, that's that's kind of a paltry offering. How much is it? I don't know. Like the, the I don't, I don't, I don't look at the prices. I just throw money at it. It'll be like, ting, 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 you know, just like that. Um, so if you're big into uh, uh, this sort of stuff, then uh, February's Loot Crate might be for you. Um, it was not particularly for me. So uh, this is Raddad69 uh, signing out.